Gaming Bolt presents 15 Hardest Boss Fights of 2017. It's been a year of memorable boss fights, whether we halted the calamity, beat down the devil, or restarted the world for some lovable androids. That doesn't mean that 2017 didn't have its share of tough boss fights that prompted controller throwing and all kinds of cursing. Let's take a look at the 15 hardest boss fights of 2017. Spoilers are inbound for a number of this year's releases like Divinity Original Sin 2, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Tekken 7, The Evil Within 2, and more, so be warned. Dark Eater Medir, Dark Souls 3 The Ringed City When a fight starts with a boss able to simply roast you from above or knock you off of a bridge, you know it's going to be fun. Dark Eater Medir is a combination of all of the horrifying boss tropes. He has absurd health, a weak point that's tough to attack, the camera is uncooperative during the battle, and he can insta-kill with some attacks. At least, he does look metal as hell. Emil, near Automata. The initial battle with Emil isn't too tough, though his numerous projectiles aren't easy to deal with. However, head into the desert and you'll encounter his various clones. They'll form one giant flying centipede of bullet hell and destruction. Even worse, their magic-based attacks can negate all of your defenses, so you're left to dodge, destroy each segment, and try to survive. The fact that Emil is level 99 also doesn't help. Caroline and Justine, Persona 5. Starting New Game Plus in Persona 5 enables you to battle the Twin Jailers, and they're as overwhelming as any secret Persona boss till date. On top of utilizing powerful heavy tier skills, each possesses 8,000 HP. Even worse is the fact that they must be defeated at the same time, lest the surviving twin revives the other. The fact that repelling much of their damage is a good way to defeat them is only a testament to their power. Devil Kazuya, Tekken 7. What's that? You wanted to fight Kazuya across several different phases, including Devil Kazuya at the end of Tekken 7? Great! Unfortunately, Devil Kazuya could give Cuphead's Devil a run for his money. Not only are power crush attacks necessary to directly damage his health, but eventually Devil Kazuya will spam rage arts, and you have to be mindful about attacking at the right time. Your health also doesn't refill when entering the last round. Have fun! Matriarch, The Evil Within 2 Battling the deranged version of Myra at the end of The Evil Within 2 can be tough for a number of reasons. Due to her numerous phases, it's easy to run out of ammo, and her immense size means a long-ranged weapon is necessary. Avoiding her attacks is the best way to ultimately prosper, but keep an eye on that ammo count. Dr. Cal's Robot, Cuphead One of the most devious bosses in all of Cuphead, nearly unseating King Dice and the Devil as the toughest boss in the game, Dr. Cal's Robot is about luck as much as skill. On top of numerous screen-filling projectiles that must be dodged, the robot takes an inordinate amount of damage in the first phase before falling. Dodging electric barricades and trying to damage Dr. Cal at the end is also painful. Brachus Rex, Divinity Original Sin 2 If you fought Brachus Rex in Divinity Original Sin, you know he's a menace that can decimate you with ease. He's not as tough in Divinity Original Sin 2, but this is a scenario where he has a Kraken Void Woken, runs away continuously, and you might also have to fight Lucian and Dallas as well. It's an insane fight to say the least, but it's one when Brachus ultimately falls. The Radiance, Hollow Knight. The penultimate boss of Hollow Knight sees players combating the very cause of the infestation with the Radiance. This boss has it all. Screen filling lasers, laser columns, homing projectiles, way too many flying swords, more lasers, and a second stage where you can fall into a pit of darkness. While cheesable with the right charms, the Radiance is still incredibly tough going. Sonata Yukimura Neo Want to hit Sonata Yukimura with projectiles? Good luck, he blocks them all. Factor in his insane speed, especially when rushing you with a spear, and Yukimura is probably the toughest boss in all of Neo. The best part is that he's not cheap and can be beaten if you get good. The worst part is that he's very tough to effectively steamroll, so you have to learn his patterns and beat him legitimately to succeed. Callus, Destiny 2 Between bugs, his enormous health pool, trying to figure out the mechanics of this fight, and they're fairly communication heavy, Callus can be a nightmare. His attacks are highly damaging, and having to deal with tons of additional enemies that spawn can be frustrating. The worst part? It's just a robot and not the real Callus. Artifice Aeon Xenoblade Chronicles 2 
Behold the most powerful artifice in all of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, well, at least for the story. With tons of health at level 70, Aeon possesses plenty of damage output and the ability to outright dominate your party without the right setup. Chain attacks will be your best friend during this battle since they can inflict enormous amounts of damage. Jack, third encounter, Resident Evil 7. The real difficulty in this encounter comes from having to travel down a level to fight the mutated Baker Patriarch. The water below can be a detriment to your movement, and having to climb back up opens you up to further attacks. Shooting his glowing eyes isn't tough, but avoiding his attacks can be, especially with their damage and knockback potential. At least Jack finally lays down upon defeat. Big Sister, The Surge This isn't the Big Sister from Bioshock 2. The Surge's Big Sister is far more wicked. She attacks you with five different arms, and the camera consistently screws you over when trying to dodge them. As the battle progresses, selecting the arm you want to attack also becomes a chore, and the third phase is awful simply because the camera suddenly goes stationary. Sarah, Yakuza 0 Masaru Sarah doesn't mess around in Yakuza 0, possessing a powerful counter move and refusing to be stun locked by your attacks. His ability to effectively halt your most brutal attacks is annoying, and it's a gamble trying to figure out the right range to hit him without being countered. Bring tons of healing items because this fight will wear on you. Big Bang, Elix. Elix is a horrible game, there's no two ways about it. So to have to fight an obscenely difficult boss without your companion is just annoying. Big Bang has a barrier protecting it, ground slam attacks, and energy blasts that can damage you. Oh, and we hope you brought some flame resistant armor for the second phase. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Bolt, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.